Do you anticipate our selection to be something different? No. You foresee that we... Well, you understand the essence. Is the DB5 the most renowned car globally? There are scarcely any cars that would rival the recognition enjoyed by 007's gadget pack Silver GT. It's intriguing for a vehicle that was only available for purchase from 1963 to 1965, with just over a thousand finding homes. The coupe version was priced at £4,175 that translates to £72,200 in today's currency, making the DB5 somewhat of a bargain compared to Aston's current lineup. The 5 was a progression from the DB4, crafted by the Italian outfit Carrozzeria Touring Superleggera, maintaining the design themes introduced with the DB Mark III in 1957 featuring the sleek long bonnet and distinctive grille. The fared in headlights were a novel look that would become a signature touch, along with the grille, both still referenced today. The 4.0 litre straight six under that bonnet produced 282 bhp, and with the assistance of the 5 speed ZF manual box, it would propel the car to 60 miles per hour in 7.1 seconds and onto a top speed of 142 miles per hour. Impressive figures for the time, but the car's 1468 kilograms curb weight is somewhat on the heavy side even before considering loading up with machine guns and bulletproofing. Drivers would have felt as sophisticated as an international super speed with the car's standard fit electric windows, servo disc brakes on 15 inches wire wheels, and optional air conditioning. For those seeking ultra exclusivity, opting for one of the shooting brake models from coach boulder Harold Radford in London, these sold at a 50% premium on the coupe, would have been the pinnacle of exclusivity. The first car was built for David Brown himself, who desired a DB5 for transporting his dog, and 11 further examples were delivered to customers. The car's inclusion in the 1964 film Goldfinger solidified its place in the global consciousness. The film's producers initially intended to feature Sean Connery in the latest version of the Aston Martin that the Bond character had been driving in the books. But the company required some persuasion. Aston Martin provided Bond with a prototype car for special effects and a production model for filming shots. The DB5 was initially light on gadgets, but the production team kept generating ideas for new features, and they embraced them, incorporating some that were designed for the car but not displayed on screen. Director Guy Hamilton conceived the revolving number plates because he kept receiving parking tickets at the time. Ironically, due to its association with Bond, the DB5 has become an all-time classic, fetching exorbitant amounts for decent examples. In fact, the car has become so valuable that when Bond producers eventually produced No Time to Die in 2019, they had to commission a series of stunt cars with BMW M3 underpinnings clad in DB5 lookalike bodies because destroying the genuine ones would be too expensive. Famous actors all get stunt doubles for perilous work, so why not the most famous car in the world?